Welcome to today's lesson. I am Siamasaka Kirian Dems. I'm going to take you through a lesson physics. And for today, we'll look at uh, the moment of a force. We we'll understand how to calculate a moment of a force as well as define it. This is very important because it's a basic concept that we are going to later apply to the principles of moments and therefore we need to pay particular attention so that we understand the initial concepts. And so we proceed to the lesson. Well, uh, moments uh, can be defined as the, the turning effect of a force. Uh, because uh, actually we look at uh, how the force will depend on the size of the force as well as the, the distance from the turning point or from the pivot. And so it's found, <clears throat> the moment of a force is found by multiplying force and the perpendicular distance of the line of action of the force from the pivot. This is very important because uh, it should always be perpendicular, meaning it should be at 90 degrees. So the force uh, should be multiplied to a, a distance which should be at 90 degrees. Okay, and that's how a moment of force is, and they should be all from the point of action, which is a pivot or a fulcrum. And so the basic equation for a moment of force is uh, actually as follows. Moment of a force is equal to force multiplied by the perpendicular distance of the line of action of the force from the fulcrum. The fulcrum is the pivot or the point where the turning is taking place. And so the units for moments can be gotten from actually what we are multiplying here. So the units for force are newtons. And the units for distance are meters. Therefore, the moment of a force, the units are newton meter. So now we are going to apply a very basic uh, question here that we're going to look at. Imagine uh, we have a pole here and we have tied a rod at point H where there is a hinge here, we have tied it on the other side, we actually apply a force so that this thing does not drop. We apply a force upwards, which is force F. And then from this point up to where the force is, this is the distance, which is given by D. And this force is at 90 degrees to the distance. And therefore, for us to calculate the moment of the force, we will only multiply the force multiplied by the distance. Again, because these are at 90 degrees, meaning that they are perpendicular. Okay. And you, you see the distance should be from the hinge here from where the fulcrum, this is the fulcrum or the pivot, the turning point to where the force is applied. This is the distance and it should be multiplied to the force that is exerted to this rod here. Okay. And so if, for example, the distance is 20 meters, the distance from here, the hinge, the turning point to where the force is, is 20 meters. And the force which is applied here so that this rod does not drop is actually 10 newtons. Therefore, the moment of a force about this point here, H, moment of a force ab about the point, the turning point H would be moment of a force is equal to force multiplied by the perpendicular distance. 
and therefore it will be 10 newtons multiplied by 20 newtons, by 20 meters, I mean, which gives us 200 newton meter. The other equation which we are going now to apply, uh, now we include a, a situation where the force is not at 90 degrees and the other one is at 90 degrees so that we see actually how to calculate a force to make it be at 90, the one which is initially not at 90 degrees. So the question goes as follows. What is the moment of the force of force one and force two about the fulcrum at H, about the turning point? So we have a situation now, this force one, it is there and the distance from where the force is, it is D and this one is at 90 uh, with respect to the distance. While the other one, which is at T, force two, it is 30 degrees from this road here. And they ask us to find the moment of a force. And therefore, as we said, the moment of a force should be equal to actually the force times distance. And the distance should be at 90 degrees to the force. But this one is not at 90, it's at 80. So we have to make it to be at 90. So the solution is as follows. This one, force one, is already at 90 degrees. If you draw here, this is at 90 degrees. So that one, the moment of the force is actually force one multiplied by the distance. This is the one here. Moment of the force on force one, it is force multiplied by distance because these are at 90 degrees. What about this one? This one actually, we have to ensure that we make a 90 degrees from the point of action. So we draw a line there until it meets the, this force. And this here should be 90. And from a right angled triangle, we notice that this side here, this side here is opposite this one in mathematics you know when this one is opposed to this one you can use actually xc uh, because this is the hypotenuse it will be now xc the distance which is this distance from there xc sine theta this is the opposite distance and now this one is at 90. okay how do you get uh, x sine theta you say sine 30 is equal to opposite, which is opposite side over hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse here, if you make now, we want to get the opposite, it will be actually opposite multiplied with a multiple opposite will be equal to actually um, sine 30 multiplied by actually the hypotenuse, which is xc sine theta, because it's opposite to this angle. And therefore, this one becomes our perpendicular distance. And so what we need to do now, say moment number two is equal to negative uh, force number two multiplied by xc sine theta. So which is this one here. Why is this one negative? It's a mere uh, differentiating it from, because this other one was moving clockwise. It's pulling in the anti-clockwise, that's the F1. But this one, F2, is pulling in the clockwise direction. And therefore, we have taken the clockwise direction to be negative and the anti-clockwise direction to be positive, that's why there is actually a negative sign there. Another question that we can look at to actually to fully understand the 
actually the forces which are at no, uh, not at 90 degrees. So we have one where actually they are all at not at 90 degrees. So what is the moment of force for force one and force two about point C? So meaning that about point C, meaning that this is where the fulcrum is or the pivot is. And so this is our pivot here. So we are saying, what is the moment of the force for this one about this point? You know, this one is at an angle and therefore you need to make it from there, you make it a 90 degrees. You make it a 90 degrees from where so that the force and the distance should be at 90. The way the, this distance is X up to there. This is the distance from C to this point where F is, the distance is X, but this distance is not at 90. And so how do we do it? So we find a distance from this point of action from the far cam. So this distance here, if you draw it to meet the force there, it will be 90 degrees and it is adjacent to this angle. And therefore, this side here is x cos theta. Theta is this angle here. x cos theta because this is now a right angled triangle. And therefore, if you are to get the moment of a force for force one, it will be force one multiplied by x cos theta, which we have done here. And therefore, since this is in the clockwise direction, again, we have said it's negative. So it's force number one multiplied by x cos theta. So let's look at now moment of a force for actually force two about the point C. So this is the actual force. And we notice that this one is pulling in the anti-clockwise direction. And for it, this is the distance from the point of action from this point C. This is the distance up to there, which is D. But this distance is at an angle. You will see if this is parallel to this one parallel. Remember that, and we have a straight line here. This angle here is alternate to that one. Therefore, alternate angles are equal. So this angle here will be equal to that angle. And therefore, we can now draw the right angles where this one will meet the force number two will meet this point two, actually point C to the far crown at 90. So you notice that this force now is meeting this one at 90. Therefore, our distance we are going to consider here is D sine theta. D sine theta because it's opposed to that. And therefore, our moment of a force will be for force two to be force two multiplied by d sine theta, which we have done here. And this one is positive because we have taken anticlockwise to be positive. And so I thought today we can look at a moment of a force and then uh, apply it to forces which are actually at 90 degrees to the distance and those which are not at 90 degrees. This is very important because when we look at the principles of moments, we will have already known what a moment of a force is. So briefly, what we have actually discussed is that a moment of force is found by multiplying the force uh, by the perpendicular distance from the point of rota rotation or the fulcrum or the pivot. Okay, and so this is basically what we've learned today. Please uh, subscribe to my YouTube so that you can uh, learn more of these uh, lessons. I thank you.